Hey Capricorn, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Today it's all about you. And this is the energies for the week that are all about you. Capricorn, sun, moon, rising sign, Venus sign. Whatever sign Capricorn influences in your natal chart, you can apply this energy to and be sure that it will somehow be able to be integrated into that overall message of who you are and how your, your week is going to go. So if you are new to Born Without Boundaries, this is Born Without Boundaries. Thank you for finding me. My name is Michelle. Um, I, uh, I am an oracle and tarot card reader and a, a student astrologer. Please do click subscribe and ring that bell below so you know when I go live and upload all my content. Um, yeah, and if you guys are on platforms that allow for commercial interruptions, there will be one in a couple of seconds. Just so that you know, I put it in the beginning of my video so that it doesn't interrupt any of the message afterward. There will be no more, there will be no more commercials. But I do thank you for waiting through it because whether you know it or not, that is actually a donation to the channel. It sponsors the channel and it helps out a lot. So thank you so much for your patience. I will be back in 30 seconds. All right, now you either sat through an awkward pause or through a commercial, both of which I am extremely grateful for. Capricorn, let's get into your Oracle card reading. The Oracle card reading, the energies for November 9th through the 16th of 2019 for the zodiac sign of Capricorn. Capricorn energies for the 9th through the 16th of 2019, Capricorn energies. There's a lot of information falling out and I feel like, and there's a lot of scattered when you guys are usually not scattered, which tells me that there's maybe too much happening too soon or that you are going through a situation this week that feels like it's too much for you. It's not that you can't handle it, but it feels, it feels like a, a great deal of everything happening at once. Um, a great deal of burden, a, a, a lot of, <sighs> powering through this this week. I keep saying this month, so it may be this month, this the rest of this month, but these are just these are definitely the energies for this week for Capricorn. For Capricorn, the energies for November 9th through the 16th of 2019 for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising or any sign. Remember Capricorn, this is your full oracle card spread and then the link below for the extended includes a full tarot card spread to clarify, extend the reading, and a romance reading. So once again, that link is below. All right, Capricorn, let's get into this energy. First card out is see the big picture. There is something you're not seeing. And I'm telling you this because I'm on your side. This is Earth energy. It's usually Taurian energy. And with the new, the full moon coming up in Taurus, it's going to be very beautiful for you. It's going to remind you how much that you're loved. It's going to maybe solidify some romantic relationships in your life. And it's also going to basically keep you warm and cozy at home and solidify your home life, your home situation. Um, maybe even solidify your finances because it could affect those finances very positively as well. Or just illuminate things that you haven't seen that will help to clear up those issues that you may be having so that you can let them go, cast them away, because that's what we do at a full moon. We release. We release and let go. The full moon is full and it needs to be emptied so that we can receive new things. And that Taurian energy is going to ask us to basically make investments, long-term investments, or be responsible with our finances, maybe even find money where we didn't know that we had it. Um, find a um, a reaffirmation of of our love, love for somebody else, or how much we are loved, or um, getting that feeling of uh, people's love um, fortifying us this coming this coming week. So, um, Taurus, that's all really positive stuff. But uh, Taurus, I keep, I just said Taurus, but this is a reading for Capricorn, absolutely. But I feel strong Taurian energy coming through, which is a good. Um, which is a compatible energy to you, right? It's, it's, it's a, a fellow earth energy. Um, but not only that, it, it's going to kind of help you through, give you stability and a sure footing through this, through this time where you just feel like you're, you have a lot of burdens and a lot of baggage to carry on your back. There's a lot coming at you from a lot of directions 
and you feel a little bit out of control and you don't like feeling that, you feel out of sorts, you feel not prepared. So there's that feeling coming through of, but you have what you need and everything is going to be okay. And this is what I was going to tell you, this energy crowning your reading. See the big picture because this time that you're going through right now is actually is actually to set you set you up for where you're supposed to be in life. It's almost like you're supposed to move to the next level of your life and this is the this week this energy is the bridge energy. And these challenges are meant to be redirective challenges and put, point you toward those places that you really need to go to be your best biggest happiest self and live your fullest life. And when you're in the thick of it, and burdened by all that baggage on top of you, you're not going to see that. It's not going to be easy. So this week, the suggestion is as much as you can, get as high up in that tree as you can and try to see this big picture. It could even be calling you to become the boss, become the leader, become the guide, become the person, the GPS system, the person that sort of oversees, become the overseer this week, Capricorn, because it could really help you in your life. You may even get a supervisory position at work. You may be the one that's leading a project and it's your job to not be in the thick of it and do the grudge work, but it's your job to organize and strategize. And it's, this is, so this is calling you to think strategy, to think larger picture, to think whole project instead of those details. Um, that's going to actually help you out a lot. Even if you are just going over your books or balancing out your checkbook this week, see the big picture, see a longer term goal and out a couple of months and how all this plays in. And it, it's just, it's going to be good for you. Um, also go outside of your comfort zone a little bit, Capricorn. I know. I hear you, but it's almost like life is calling you to do it. It's pushing you and forcing you to go outside of your comfort zone and do something that sort of hovers above what you normally did. Not morally better or ethically better. I don't think you're immoral or unethical. I think that it's just, like I said, something supervisory or strategic as opposed to being the one that actually does the engineering work. This is more strategy in theory that we're asking you to focus on this week. That is the energy this week coming through Capricorn. Let's see what other cards came out. The miracles are endless, and this is definitely Taurus energy coming through for you. This is going to be a very, very favorable full moon, and I think what you're going to be putting down and releasing is worry and burdens of suffering or heartache, confusion, or just burdens in general. There is going to be a way through. You're going to see miracles and blessings. Maybe receive opportunities that you didn't even know were there, right? But hey, you sure are happy that they arrived. Like that kind of thing. Change is on the wing. You have a 15 here, six. That's at five, one and five adds up to six, which is the number of love, actually. It's the number of lovers in the tarot card. And every time I see six repeated, I think of love and people coming together as equal counterparts. So you could get some sort of love and support from a spouse, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a long-term lover, or this could be beneficial in terms of Cupid's arrow aims where his mama Venus points. And Venus is who rules Taurus. And this is a very favorable energy for you, including this full moon. So you could be hit by a love bug if you're single. Or this could just be new opportunities in love and romance. And people finding you extremely attractive this week, Capricorn. So what I would ask you to do is if you are interested in somebody, even if other aspects of your life are feeling crappy, I would just take the plunge. Mm. Go for that deep dive. This could be... Um, this could be a statement of your relationships or your responsibilities taking on a deeper, more emotional level, going to another level, leveling up by going deeper and trusting somebody more and realizing that you need each other more. This isn't the romance reading. There's going to be a romance specific reading, but there is this energy of love coming through because of this beautiful Venus energy um, with this Taurus full moon. And I, and I just see you diving deep or finding blessings in places that you normally would not have looked in. Maybe that's what the bigger picture is, is seeing is, is basically seeing the strategy or the big picture of your life, 
to lessen those burdens and that, those, that craziness and the chaos by seeing just how blessed you are. Spending time with, with, with really good friends or family or seeing how much you're loved and supported, taking that step back from the minutia or those details and the grudge, the, the grudge work that's kind of bringing you down and worrying you. Because there, there, there is a sense of worry a lot this week. Um, um, something is bothering you, but there's also fives all over the place. And I'm telling you right now, change is on its way. There is a, there is, excuse me, there is a, a purpose behind what's happening to you this week. Um, there is a purpose. And I think it was to drive you to a place that you were supposed to go, but had avoided because you got very, very comfortable being with your norm. You got very comfortable with your norm and you had to be pushed out of your norm. And that was a very emotional experience for you. And that's why you're diving deep. You are a very deep and emotional person. And I think Capricorn, that this is going to be a very good week to really help you release those fears and those deeper emotions of hurt and pain and maybe even failure. Um, this is it. This is that full moon energy. Time to release all that. Time to recognize where you're blessed, even if things are rough right now. And time to release all those negative, that negative self-talk that we hear in our heads when things are going rough, it's time to get rid of all that and see things from above. It's time to release all those deep emotions that are dragging us down. We had to feel them though. That's the thing, Capricorn. You had to feel them and you should, should not chastise yourself for feeling it. It was a requirement, but you also now need to see the bigger picture to sort of relieve yourself and make yourself feel better and feel good. Uh, time to take time out. This is a good time to relax and kick back and not, I know, I just heard it. Not it, Never in the history of not worrying has somebody saying don't worry ever really made you not worry. I hear it. I get it. I know it. But this is definitely almost like a break for you. This is This period, this week especially, is meant to be a respite for you, a reprieve. So honestly, Capricorn, if you just got laid off from work or maybe you're starting a new job and the systems aren't up yet, take that time, that extra time that you have this week to just inhale and exhale and familiarize your system with your, your system and your sensibilities because it's not just systematic, it's also emotional for you. You take what you do very, very personally. It is basically how you identify yourself, what you do, how hard you work, how um, valuable you are to your job and how successful you are at it is, is everything to you. I wouldn't say everything, but it means a great deal to you and your personal identity. And so this is kind of a respite from that to say, hey, Capricorn, what else are you? Who else are you? What else matters to you? There are other things in life besides work and job and success and making money. And a lot of that has to do with emotions and love, not just romantic love, but big love, feeling connected to people. And so this is a good time to take that time that you may not get again to the end of the year around the holidays. You may not even get it then. You know, maybe your job is gonna be requiring you to work through the holidays. So take this time out with your family this week. It's requiring you to. It's almost like the universe is being very protective of you and fending off all of those extra responsibilities and guarding you so that you get that time and that protection. In other words, burdens will be cast off. There will be somebody else's shoulders to take that baggage off and put it on this week. You will be able to unload your burden this week. Maybe not permanently, but temporarily just so that your neck heals and your back heals and you can get stronger. Or you'll find somebody that will help you shoulder that burden this week. And I do believe that that's part of the message is that there is somebody here that has a lot of resources and has a lot of means. And they're going to come in Capricorn and ask if you want help. You know, what kind of resources do you need? This person is very abundant, okay? This is my sweet results await. This is my dripping in honey card. So Capricorn, you have two of the best, the luckiest cards in the deck. Not just luck. This isn't luck. This is fortune. This is success. This is resources. You're dripping in honey and the miracles are endless. So there is great news and wonderful, miraculous. This is 3D resources. You understand this is Taurian energy. 
Taurian energy is 3D resources. It's not just like spirit loves you. They're sending you messages in the bur from the birds because that stuff is beautiful and I believe in that completely. But this is 3D resources. This is money. This is food. This is clothing. This is diamonds and pearls. This is the honey sweet stuff. This is good stuff. This is sugary stuff. And once again, this could be the sweetness of life, the love of life. Dear also means somebody is treating you very, very precious. You are precious to somebody. This is Virgo energy. You have Capricorn energy, Virgo energy, and Taurus energy all out here. That is the grand earth trine. Your stability is back and it's going to be given back to you by people who love you and support you. There is definitely this bring a gentle touch. It could be talking about you or I think it's more or less talking about somebody else in your life or coming into your life. That is going to make you feel sexy even when you don't feel sexy. Make you feel beautiful even when you don't feel beautiful. Make you believe in yourself even when you don't believe in yourself. In other words, those kind of emotional burdens will be shouldered by people who care about you this week. You won't have to remind yourself just how amazing and beautiful you are. There will be people around you to do that for you. They've got your back. Your soul tribe is here, Capricorn. That's what I'm saying to you this week. And they are going to lose... If they can't help you financially, even though I think you will have financial help, you will have financial help. There will be either money coming in or opportunities coming in that you did not expect. And you will really, really be dripping in miracles this week. But beyond that, beyond that, you will have emotional support this week. And it's not just like people cheering you from the sidelines. It's them literally um, like diving in with you and helping you to breathe when you feel like you're drowning. Like that's what it is, like being your air supply when you feel like you're you're squashed under gallons of water. Like that's that's the energy that's coming in. So it's very helpful energy to help you regenerate in a time when you I think you really need time out. I think you really need some sort of respite right now. I think you need to just sort of shake off a burden that you've been carrying for a very long time this week. And this is a great week to do it. And then the last two cards that have come out upside down, freedom is yours and act as if. In other words, something is, okay. You feel burdened. That's the truth. You feel stuck. That's the truth. But I think the actual truth will be revealing itself this week. Or in other words, oh, no, 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 the truth is hidden this week. That's what it's saying. Act as if that chameleon energy upside down is something is still hidden. Something has not been released or realized yet, but there is something looming. I don't think it's bad news. I think it's liberation from these burdens. That's what I think. But you still have to sort of, you're still stuck this week. You still sort of have to play this game of, faith, getting through it, letting it, letting one more day go by. And it's, it's, it's actually, it's, I feel like this is a time out. This is your time out. Don't take it as I've been benched. Take it as I get to put my ankle up cause it's swollen. You know what I'm saying? Like, like let, 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 let this be you not sort of, um, This is the message that I'm getting. I think that somebody is wants to give you make an offer to you but isn't ready to make an offer to you yet. So there is an offer on the horizon, whatever this offer is. Work, play, love, finances. There is an offer. There is something that is available to you, will be available to you, but it's still hidden. It's not going to be revealed to you this week. And that's why spirit is saying, trust let this be relax this week because you are all set up. There is an opportunity waiting for you. It's just not here yet. You are, please just stay still this week. Let yourself be still. That's what we're asking you to be. And it could very well be listening to the universe is telling you to stay put. It's telling you to be exactly in this place so it knows where to find you. That's a message coming through loud and clear too. There is abundance that's coming to you. You don't have to work for it. So please just trust in the bounty that's coming to you this week. I'm going to flip the camera around so I can review the cards. Hold on. And here you go. And what are the only two cards that are upside down? Act as if. There's no reason for you to act as if. 
there is an op there is something that's still hidden, something that you still can't see. Maybe it's an idea that you still can't get your total grasp on. Maybe because you're still in some way stuck in your old mindset. You have to get rid of this old mindset before you'll be able to see the different colors and, and see what's really there. Right now, you're kind of still trapped in an old way of thinking or wanting uh, old things. This is a great time for you to release that. This is the energy that needs to be released. Feeling stuck, feeling trapped, feeling like you have no place to go. There is opportunity waiting in the wing for you. I would say maybe just a week or two weeks out, but there is something that is going to be revealed to you very quickly and liberate you. Right now, this week, no, it's hidden. It's hidden, why? Because you need to learn patience and, I, and you need to take a freaking break. You need this respite. You need to recharge and get yourself back to you again. And you do have the resources coming in to do it. And I think it's resources from people who love you. Look, look at the sequence here. You have cow spirit and then you have trust the great mystery. There is going to be abundance of emotional support and companionship this week. You have take time out and then sweet results await. So the sweet results are in taking a break this week, just laying off, going easy on yourself. The universe is protecting you and watching you and defending you. You don't need to do it this week, Capricorn. The sweet results are honey, dripping in honey, dripping in honey, Capricorn. Your life is sweet, as in kick your feet up, have that cup of tea, let yourself hang back. No, I listen, I know that vacation for you is only working a half day. I understand that. So whatever puts your mind at ease. If that's doing yard work, then do yard work. Maybe you've that you've needed to be a, you need to be a busy bee. I think you will have, in other words, it's asking you to take time out from being a busy bee, from working hard. The sweetness is already there. You have it. So please just let this be a week of finding yourself again. Be gentle with who you are. Here's more very um, solid earth energy. Bring a gentle touch and freedom is yours. Um, but freedom isn't yours. In other words, it's don't try to push things. Don't try to rush anywhere. Be gentle with yourself this week and just stay still. Stillness is going to work this week. It really is. And so is patience because there's an opportunity coming in that hasn't been revealed yet. Somebody is still... Um, sort of pretending to be something that they're not, but I don't, I don't feel malice in this card. I just feel unpreparedness. Like there's, there's something not yet ready, but it, it really does want to get ready for you because it has its eye on you. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to go over to the extended video and do a full tarot card spread to extend this reading and clarify, especially what this um, chameleon spirit energy is. I'm also going to do your romance reading. I will see you, Capricorn, over there.